Hey everyone, so today we're going to be filming the tutorial for the In The Hoop hand sanitizer holder. This particular design has seven steps and what I have in first is pink thread. This pink thread is going to be the satin stitch for the applique. So it's going to get us through one through four without a color change on a single needle machine. That's why I suggest whatever color you're going to use as your satin stitch. If you have enough of it, just go ahead and put it in to begin with. I have a piece of tearaway stabilizer. It's medium tearaway hooped and we're going to go ahead and run step one. So step one was the placement stitch. This is basically your guide for your material. I'm going to go ahead and use the cork. This is the cork from Hobby Lobby. Many have been skeptical to use it, so I wanted to be able to show you all how well it stitches. So step two is the placement stitch for your applique. You're just going to again run this stitch. So step three is going to tack down your fabric. The fabric I'm using is knit, so it stretches. If you were to use cotton, you would want to make sure it's completely ironed before using it, just so you'll get a better end result. Make sure his head is in there. So you can secure it. I use scotch tape and then I will also follow the design with my hands. Okay. So step three is going to tack down the fabric. Before running step four, which is the satin stitch, you're going to remove your hoop from your machine and go ahead and cut the excess. Now that the excess is trimmed, go ahead and return the hoop to the machine and run step four, which again is the satin stitch. Okay, now that the satin stitch is complete, we're gonna take it off the hoop, off the machine, not off the hoop. Here's the satin stitch. And step five is going to secure the back. So I'm gonna use another piece of cork straight on the back. Let me get that adhered and I will get the hoop back on the machine. So I use 505 spray to place the backing. If you do not like a piece of spray being ran through your machine, you can tape it. Just make sure it's secure and doesn't move. I'm also going to switch out the colors. I like to use colors that are as close as possible. Okay, and now we're going to run step five.
that step five is completed, you're going to want to leave the same thread color in for the step six and seven. Step six is a guide stitch for the back pocket. Um, this is basically two lines. You're going to want to place your pocket beneath those lines. And for those of us who do not have automatic cutters, the jump stitch is actually going to make a pretty good guide. And again, if you do have an automatic cutter, it's no problem because you're still going to have the two lines on the side to, to make sure your pocket's where it needs to be. This is step six. Step six is real simple and it's actually it's stitched pretty fast. Now that we're on the back, you see what it did? It went ahead and gave you a line. This is just a little piece of thread that needs to be trimmed. And this is the tail that that can be trimmed as well. You're going to want to place your material lined up straight and below it. This is going to give you a good clean edge and then it'll allow it the pocket to stitch on where it needs to stitch. Give me just a moment. I'm going to get the pocket secured. I am going to tape the top of it. Okay, so here it is. The pocket is secured on. You can kind of see a glare. That's where I tape the piece there. That way it does not shift. Go ahead and place the hoop back on the machine and run the final step. And now all your stitching is complete. If you don't have automatic thread cutting, you're going to want to cut this top one, this bottom one, and this one on the back and this one on the bottom. That way it's clean. Okay guys, I'm back. I moved this to a different surface so you all could see the cutting process as well. I snipped the extra stitching. The little tails and I believe there was the jump stitch here to here and the same as the back so we're gonna go ahead and cut this out you want to give give it a good amount of room from the stitching if you hit these stitch lines in any way your pocket is gonna bust so you want to give it enough amount of space that you don't accidentally hit it as well so let's go ahead and get this cut out. Okay, so there it is. Let me get that little piece right here. Here's the back. Here's the front. Let me grab one of our hand sanitizers so I can also show you all how to put the sanitizer inside. So here is the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. You are going to want to put the picture towards whatever you have on the front. And then go ahead and push it in. It fits in that opening perfect. And then that allows you to open it as so. 
with placing the snaps, your first snap is going to go right here. Second snap is going to go right there. You can either put a placement with a pin or eyeball it, but basically it's going to need to go right there. That way your hardware and it can secure. So go ahead and take this out and let's go ahead and install the cam snaps as well. So we're going to use this pink. So I'm going to go ahead and press a hole with that where I know exactly where I want it and push the all through. Again, you can also fold it over, see where you want it, put your finger between the pocket because you don't want the awl to go all the way through the front, put it through your original hole, and press through that way as well. It's already gone through. Let's see, can you see it? It's already gone through. So we have the cam snap in. We're gonna put the male part on. Here are my pliers. Can you see it? There it is. Press. The cam snap for the pocket is actually going to come out towards you. So let's get that in there. You see it right there? It's coming towards you. Female piece. And then get your tool inside the pocket and press. There's those. And here it is. Go ahead and put your hand sanitizer back in. Grab some hardware. And you are ready to go. Here it is. And I do apologize for the length of the video. I'm just trying to provide as much detail as possible since there will not be a PDF tutorial for this file.